Okay, so hello everyone. Um, yesterday I will talk a bit about CatsGPT and its state. Um, CatsGPT itself is a relatively new project, so I think we started one year at this time ago. Whom have you ever heard about CatsGPT? Okay, some of you, perfect. Hopefully um, I'll get some, some new information for you. Um, so first things first, why did we start um, building Kate's GPT? At first, because AI was cool at this time. So um, we thought we have to do something with the AI um, and thought this would be a good use case. The first thing we found out is that troubleshooting Kubernetes can be really hard. So um, the people who started with Kate's GPT are old sysadmins, old SREs, and so on. And um, we all had some issues with Kubernetes. We troubleshooted day by day, and so on. And we thought that this, this should, should get easier. Um, and this brings me to the point we are troubleshooting the same issues over and over. I think um, many of us deal with missing service accounts. We all um, deal with labels um, on, on pods which are not there for services and so on. And um, we thought this could make it easier. Um, we also thought that we as humans have the problems, um, but we also have the ability to find them. And um, the AI itself is able to provide solutions for our problems. So for instance, if we, um, if we collect enough information to find out all of the related resources and so on, um, we could put this into an AI model and could say, yes, um, this is the problem. So what is Kate's GPT? At first, um, Kate's GPT initially was only a CLI. Um, the first command we had was Kate's GPT analyze, and with Kate's GPT analyze, no AI was in place. Um, the second thing we had was some kind of explain mode, which um, sent some data to OpenAI and so on, and got information for it. So um, the Kate's GPT um, CLI consists of some analyzers such as a pod analyzer, deployment analyzer, and so on, which tries to find problem patterns. Furthermore, we have some kind of AI integration. And in the meanwhile, um, we have many AI integrations, such as for OpenAI, Vertex, Bedrock, and also for um, local AI. And the interesting part is with the analyzers, we try to um, find as many data, as much data as possible in our Kubernetes cluster, and with the AI integra integration, we try to interpret, interpret it. So, in the end, the Kate's GPT tells you that you have a problem, and this is the solution. Without uh, the AI integration, it only tells you that you have a problem. So, a typical result of the Kate's GPT um, CLI would look like this. So, um, in fact, this was um, a problem that uh, image could not be pulled. So, I've, I tried to find the first screenshot I, found, uh, I find today, found today. Um, and it tells you that you um, in a pod with the name test star in the default namespace, you have the problem that uh, image cannot be pulled. And with the details, um, and this is the AI generated part, you get the information what you can do with it. So um, as I said before, we started one year ago. Um, and in this year, many things happened. At first, I think, hmm, not, not completely a year um, ago, we released the very, very first version of Kate's GPT and found out that many people liked the project and also um, we found out that many people would like to contribute. So um, after some days, um, we got the first thousand GitHub stars. I think in the meanwhile, we have 5,000 and um, thought it would it would be nice to get on the CNCF landscape, and therefore we had to change the logo twice. So at first, because our logo was a bit too fancy for SVG, and the second one because we didn't like our colors. Um, good. 
Um, after some time, we found out that the CLI is pretty nice, but we could automate some things around it. So we started creating an operator, tried to automate some things, and um, tried to try to aut automate all of this. So in the meanwhile, you can run KSGPT as an operator, and it detects problems automatically when they occur. Um, after, I think, three months, we um, sent over the sandbox proposal to the CNCF. Um, we were a pretty young project, therefore it took a bit longer. And in December, um, we got accepted into in the sandbox. In the meanwhile, and since then, we worked on lots of features and integrations, and the project grows day by day. So, what's planned? Um, we plan. We are, we refactored the whole integration part of KSGPT. Um, we will add more integrations, such as for AWS, other cl cloud providers, and other operators. Um, we will enable the scanning of CRDs. Um, we will have additional output, so at the, minute, at the moment you can send Slack messages. In the future it will be Teams and so on. Um, and obviously we will try to integrate with other AI ML tools. So one of our maintainers also was the initiator of the AI um, working group. So um, this would not be possible with other communities. So for everyone who tried out KSGPT until now, and for everyone who contributed to KSGPT, a big thank you at this, time, at this point. Um, and if you like to get in touch with us, um, we have a GitHub repository, obviously. So please star us, please contribute, raise pull requests, write issues, and so on. Um, share your thoughts. So we also have a Slack channel. Um, tell us what you would like to see in Kate's GPT. And if you feel comfortable, feel free to raise a pull request. Um, and if you like to talk to some of us, um, we have a project. We are in the project pavilion um, on Wednesday in the in the afternoon. With this, I want to thank you and have a nice day here at Cube